What is up, everybody? Today, we're visiting Quito, Ecuador, and we're learning about the legend of Cantuña and the devil. The story takes place here at the church and convent of San Francisco. On the exterior are double towers and a combination of Mannerist and Renaissance styles. The interior is filled with beautiful art galleries, chapels, cloisters, and examples of Baroque and Mudéjar style. However, our legend of Cantuña takes place in the atrium, outside of the church. During my research, I discovered a lot of reenactments for school projects, so I'm going to splice together those videos as I tell the story. According to legend, the Franciscan monks hired a man called Cantuña, a talented builder and and native to the Andes. So Cantuña agreed to build the stone atrium by a certain day, but as he worked on the project, he realized that he would not be able to finish on time, and if he missed the deadline, he would not be paid. He might even go to jail. Cantuña was desperate to finish, so he prayed for help, but he must have butt dialed the wrong number because the devil answered. Or perhaps the devil was watching the entire time and was simply waiting for the right moment to reveal himself. In any case, the devil appears before Cantunia and makes him an offer. He'll build the atrium by sunrise, and once it's completed, he will take Cantunia's soul. This deal actually reminds me of that one episode of The Simpsons where Homer sells his soul in exchange for a donut, but we'll come back to this later. So the contract is signed, and the devil and his demon contractors immediately get to work. Morning approaches, and the devil is ready to collect his payments. But while the devil wasn't looking, Cantunia secretly hid the final atrium stone under his poncho. Because the atrium was not complete, the devil did not fulfill his part of the deal, and he could not take Cantunia's soul. Kind of like how Devil Dead Flanders couldn't take Homer's soul because he didn't finish the donut. Now remember, at the instant you finish it, I own your soul for. Hey, wait. If I don't finish this last bite, you don't get my soul, do you? Uh, technically, no. The contract was broken, he kept his soul, and the atrium was pretty much completed. Cantonia outsmarted the devil. Smarter than the devil! I'm smarter than the devil! You are not smarter than me! According to modern legend, the devil's minions turned into pigeons and are still roaming around today, searching for that final stone. Now, if you go visit the church, you can actually find the place where the stone is missing. It's the wall to the right of the stairs. Thank you very much for watching. Have you been to Ecuador? Do you know of other legends? Have you recently signed a contract with the Dark Lord? Share your experiences in the comments below. And if you enjoy videos about world travel, culture, and architecture, be sure to subscribe. See you guys real soon.